So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I'm going to showcase to you how I can get this amazing Dragon Scale Katana. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this blade, I mean like, you know, it's a katana, most people love katanas and this is just one for the collection, I'm actually drawing it with my rivers of blood offering the ice lightning damage as well as my bleed yes together why not people some of the hybrid things you've come up with i mean guys the possibilities are endless with this game as we know okay so the weapon itself requires 12 uh strength and 20 in dexterity that is basically it now it is a pain in the ass to get in regards to what you have to do to get to the area this thing is located well i'll run you quickly through it now I've got a guide linked within the video description, actually I'll post two because there's two ways to get to where we need to go. We need to get to this area right here precisely, we need to get to the middle of the rut right here guys. And to get here, you need to more or less get up to this area here, the ends of the river main and work your way around, work your way down, you'll end up at this grace. It's actually quite easy, um, it's a big part of the Rani quest line. We actually get teleported here within the Rani quest line which starts all the way up here uh, but i'll post a guide to that in the video description there's another way of getting down here guys and that is if you defeat radan who's obviously located there you then gain access to uh the underground we are going to this grace here fort height west from here guys you'll be able to come to knock on city you'll end up about here making your way down you need to come this way be the mimic tier boss up this way and i think it's here it is a gargoyle boss it's one of these two graces if you defeat the gargoyle boss at the back of the room guys there is a tomb you can get into you get into that tomb guys it brings you up to the deep uh, root depths you'll spawn in here make your way across the branches you'll come up around here follow the river around or the waterfall around come across here guys and there will be another tomb jump in it guys you end up precisely here precisely here guys and from here you need to work your way around and down and round and you'll end up right there guys now like i said it's a part of the randy quest line which i'll link down below i ain't going to run through it all now most people will already have this already unlocked but if you are desperate for this i mean just follow that guide it's there's a part in it let's get the timestamps if i get to the end so river main which you're here guys actually come down here you have to come past here anyway and then you get into a tomb here which takes you down to here that's the part of the running quest line we can always stop off guys and come to this one come to the actual middle of here there's a boss you have to fight which i'll explain in a second but yeah so we'll go here guys and i'll show you exactly how to get in also guys there is an amazing helmet you can get here too which i'll also show you how to get pretty cool people pretty cool now before you actually come here before you fast travel here make sure you have some of these um, there's a few vendors across the uh, the map that sell them. You can craft them, whatever. This uh, gets rid of the rut that you will get. 100% you're going to get it. Now, there are things you can put on in regards to if you wear a seal, an incantation. Um, I'm actually going to put that on that because I don't have many of them berries left. To be honest, there's ones here. I can't remember what it's called. Um, there you go. We've got this one, Lord's Aid. So, yeah, I'm going to put that on just because, like, like it says alleviates the poison blood loss and sleep uh, build up i'm hoping that poison <laughs> is uh the rut i really am because if it ain't i'm probably gonna die trying to get here but it's very important guys you have ways of getting rid of that uh rut. now because for me as you'll see um you'll see that there is a slight path now we have to get to precisely about there about there somewhere around there so you'll see it's literally in the middle now i think you can go left but if you go right a when you get actually stand on this platform here right in front of us you'll see this platform actually comes up and you need to stick to the pla pa platform guys you run through the right you die and look how quick it builds up on you it builds up so fast now i'm gonna actually test that out oh, I, took, I, I took my seal off i took my seal off what am i doing Let's quickly pull it back on what was i thinking what was i thinking there we go there we go there we go okay so can i uh get rid of my rock with this uh... nope ah oh, shit i was using the right one wasn't i 
Yeah, so I'm so dead. I have a mini flash, so I got I got enough flash. I should be okay in showing you. Okay, so once you get here, guys, you're gonna make your way over to that platform there. Like when you get to it, it will pop up. You need to get on these, they're very important. Oh, I've got Scarlet right now, I'm dead. <laughs> and you'll get here, guys, and there will be a boss. You'll see him, he's literally sitting in the middle of the, the water. You'll see him on screen now. I'll showcase you me actually going from that grace point to him and fighting him and him killing me as I kill him. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's wild, people, it's wild. But yes, okay, so kill him and you get this katana. It really is that simple. Now, guys, what you want to do is come back over here because I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this helmet we can see on screen now. So the helmet is... Uh, let's quickly go down because I've got that Scarlet Rock building up. Oh, no, it's at the top. It's at the top. It's this one here. The Mushroom Crown. I'll pull it on. Um, it raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. That's pretty cool. So that is pretty cool. So, yeah. But this is where the boss is. So this is where the boss is basically. Now we have to come across here. You can see the, the ruins over there. You're gonna come across this way, guys, because if you stand on this, more platforms do come up. Yeah, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm trying to show you this. But it's all good because I got the footage recorded of me picking up the mask anyway. But yeah. So you get on here, and you'll see these things start popping up, guys. Then you need to just come across here. No, there's no point in going there. I might as well just run straight across. I may as well just run straight across. So yep, jump on here. Again, guys, if you've got uh, if you've got the uh, <laughs> enemies of healing, it should be good. Now up there, there is I can't remember what it is. I think it could be just a smithing stone. But you want to come this way. So you come up on here. So you come up on here, guys. And just actually pop this because I'm so dead. Yep. So you jump up here. Come across here. Just like so, and when you get up on here, guys, you'll see as I'm showing on screen now. Just jump down onto there, and you will then get the easy, amazing mushroom helmet, looking badass. And there we have it, guys. And while this poison got build up, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die. I'm not even gonna fight it. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see, want to see more Adam Ning, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next. One.